Hi and welcome to this IHF rule information presentation about the playing rules and its major updates and changes for the season 24-25. So what we will present in this information video is the major changes in the playing rules for the season 24-25 and as well important updates in the IHF official situation handbook for interpretation of the playing rules that is also updated on IHF.com for the season 2024-2025. We will first start off with looking on the major changes within the IHF rulebook for the coming season. For this season, we have an updated rulebook that is updated on a yearly basis. This is done since 2020. Important changes and clarifications will be presented in this video. We will give you a describing a uh, picture over the process and give you a brief overview of the changes. Some slides show extracts from the rulebook and please note that these are made to describe the changes that has been made. The full text and to get the full understanding of the change, we ask you to please utilize the IHF rulebook to get the full picture. We have not included editorial changes in this presentation. Our first rule is rule five, team. The maximum number of staff members on the player's bench, eight, is now clarified under rule 5.4. This is where the minimum number of staff member was already regulated. Rule 5.4, coaches and team personnel says, every team must have at least one and not more than eight staff members behind the team on the player's bench to act as a coach and at least one qualified coach or medical expert to treat players in case injury. There has been uh, changes made under Rule 9, uniforms. Under Rule 9.5, the IHF has updated uh, a strong recommendations to use, use cut-resistant socks, sleeves or undergarments for any players in the game. Rule 9.5 protective equipment states, that all players are strongly recommended to wear cut-resistant socks, sleeves, or undergarments. To continue with the changes made under Rule 9, we move forward to Rule 9.12. Rule 9.12 is updated to mandate the use of neck laceration protectors. As a result of this change, the specific junior-specific rules for neck laceration protectors have now been removed. Rule 9.12 now states, for all players and players, including both skaters and goalkeepers, in all categories of IHF competition, it is mandatory to wear a neck laceration protector designed for this specific purpose, choosing a design that covers as much of the neck as possible. The neck laceration protector must be properly worn and must not be modified or alternated in any way. For violation of this rule, after a warning by the referee, a minor penalty shall be imposed. For violations of this rule in junior hockey, both teams shall be giving a warning for the first violation by either team, and a misconduct penalty shall be assessed for all following violations. Not mentioned under Rule 9, but for an information for reference chiefs, federations, and individual game officials, the IHF will mandate that all game officials wear a neck laceration protector as a part of the basic equipment requirement. These neck laceration protectors for game officials during IHF event and competition shall be without any logos or advertisement and be produced for ice hockey purposes. We move along to rule number 10, the sticks. Under rule 10.8, it's now added to clarify what constitutes an illegal stick. Previously, there was no single definition of an illegal stick. It was spread over several different rules. Rule 10.8 now states, an illegal stick is defined as one that following a measurement is deemed not conforming to rule 10. An illegal stick is also defined as one when a player has not been legally handed one by his player's bench or from a teammate. And finally, an illegal stick is any time a player on the ice attempts to play the game with an opponent's stick. 